Hi everybody, welcome to another 10 minute workout. Today we are sliding. If you have sliders, grab them. If not, grab two small towels or your socks. And you've got to make sure that if you're doing that, you've got a hard floor. If not, and you have sliders, you can use it on carpet. You'll be using shiny side down for carpet. If you're on hard floor, you're on the foamy side. Now, these 10 minute videos have been really popular. So you know, one move, straight into the next one. No breaks. This is gonna be super efficient and it's a full body workout. So first of all, sliders down. We are working down up, so legs first. So we are doing a sliding lunge. Three, two, one, off we go. So both knees are bent. I'm sliding out all the way and then squeezing back up. So I'm really squeezing my two legs together as I come forward. Good. Now your options here, you could use some weights if you want to make it harder. Or you can use your body weight so you can lean over the front leg. One full minute per exercise. So good. Really find a spot to look at to help you with your balance. 15 seconds, and then we're doing the other side. So the hands can be just at the waistline. We're gonna do one more. And change. So remember, both legs are bent. Just want you to check that you can see your front big toe when you're out in full extension. And you're really squeezing back leg and front leg together. So again, options to have some weight in your hands or you're gonna use your own body weight and lean over that front leg. Squeezing everything together. We have 20 seconds here. Think about belly button cheese, squeezing it to your spine. 10 seconds. front facing for me. We're going to move one leg behind for a curtsy lunge. So you're going to draw a big circle, come behind, squeeze it in, and then go out. So really big circle. You can see that I'm stuttering. We want to try and keep it smooth. You might find it easier if you get rid of the front slider. So for an extra challenge, you'll keep your foot on the other slider. So really squeezing it in. You know, I have a habit of putting my hands out in front of me. It's a reminder to keep my chest lifted. Good. So to make it harder, I'm staying in this bent position. You can always stand up in and out. Good. Again, weights you can use. Change sides. So you get my angle right. We're going around. You're squeezing that back knee under the other one and then drawing that circle around. So you can stand up in between or stay nice and bent in that front leg. And remember to make it more difficult we can have our front foot on a slide or two. It's gonna make it very difficult to balance because it's gonna to wanna to move around. 30 seconds and then we're moving on to core. Good, keep it going. Really squeeze it in. Try and keep it nice and smooth. Okay, great. You're gonna need something now for your hands. 
if they get sweaty like mine. So I'm just gonna put that in front of me. Feet on the sliders. So we are doing a plank pike. So you're in tall planks, you're squeezing your legs in and you're going out. Off we go. So you bum up, squeeze the legs in, come out. You're also gonna feel this in your hamstrings. And again, you're trying to keep it nice and smooth. Good, keep that going. You can always do one leg at a time. You need the regression, which means that you'll swap halfway. So I'll tell you when that is. Okay, you're gonna swap now. So, foot can be in, or you can do it as the pike. So, this one. So, your choice. Have a play around. You can always take breaks. Good. Rest, quick rest, knees down. We're now doing a mountain climber. Three, two, one. Feet still on the sliders, tall plank. And you're squeezing your leg in. So here you could do three, take a rest, then three, rest. Remember to start with the opposite leg. Your other option, I just like to give tons of options, you can go across. So more hitting the obliques here. Try not to lock your elbows out. Gonna go forward now, 15 seconds. You go as fast as slow as you want. Three, two, one. Okay. Your next one, I'm gonna have to turn and face you. Feet are on the slider. I'm gonna do a walk towards you and back. Three, two, one, off we go. So I'm walking my hands towards camera and instead of turning around, I'm reversing. So I'm in that tall plank. Other option, you can bring the sliders or the socks to your knees and do it. It's gonna be very difficult to keep the slider there. But that is the regression for this one. So shoulders, core here. You can tell me which one you think is more difficult. For me, it's going forwards, but for a lot of my clients, it's going back. So yeah, I almost knocked over the plant pot there. 15 seconds. And rest. Good. So you're going to need the mat for your knees. As you can tell, I am out of breath. Now, hands on the sliders. We're going to do a press up. So I just move myself back a little bit. So, as you can see, I am on my knees. Hands on the sliders. We're going out, squeezing in. Off we go. Out, squeezing in. Now you can bring your knees closer to you if that is a struggle. I am still on my knees, so I discovered this one last week. I will one day make it to my toes. Keep it going. We have 15 seconds. And then we're just two minutes till the end. Keep it going. Rest. Okay, just kind of a wipe down. Last one. We're gonna do this one side to the other. So forearm on the floor. You're gonna come out to that half plank position. And we're gonna draw a circle with the other hand. 
off we go. So you're really trying to make as big a semicircle as you can. So you should really feel this in your core. We're using the shoulder, we're using the backs of the arm, and we're using the chest. Trying to make it as big as we can. Keep it going, 30 seconds. Again, as before, the closer your knees are into you, the less weight's going to be going through your upper body. If you're having the same issue as me, sweaty palms on the shiny side of the slider, give yourself a little wipe down. We're going to do one more. Okay, I'm just going to move myself back a bit. Other side. This is it, one more minute and then we are done. Off we go. So like I said, you don't need fancy sliders. If you're on hard floor, you could put socks on your hands and feet. You can use two small towels, whatever you've got. If I do this in class, sometimes we use tea towels. Keep it going, 30 seconds left, then we are done. Full body workout in just 10 minutes. I am sweating. Keep it going. 15, come on, we've got this. Strong back as well. Five, get one more in, and rest. Good job everyone, swipe the sweat from my brow. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please send in requests, I think I'm gonna do an abs one next, but send in your requests for these 10 minute videos, and I will see you soon.